Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 18th, 2019. So we have an interesting morning setting up this morning. First off, yesterday we were right on with um, the thought that we could just kind of chop sideways in yesterday, and that's exactly what happened. Really light price action. And then right at the end of the day, yesterday, I'm going to go to a uh, uh, just a 15-minute chart. You can see um, right at the end of the day, we had um, selling that came in to um, really pull us right back down into this little doji pattern. So we have four little doji spinning top type patterns right here in a row nice little consolidation and the positive thing about this is we're consolidating above that 50-day moving average that is um honestly that's positive price action to be consolidating above that level now we weren't looking all that great um going into the evening but um and 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 I, sh I should say that European markets actually um, closed pretty modest overnight. They didn't get the benefit of Mario Draghi's uh, news this morning that uh, they have cleared the deck for the potential of um, interest rate cuts and even more asset purchasing Um Quantitative easing, uh, that's a, something we haven't heard about for some time, but it looks like Europe is headed toward the quantitative easing um, area again um, to potentially st stave off any kind of um, issues in their economy. Of course, that immediately caught a reaction from our president saying that um, Europe continues to devalue their currency. Um, and I don't know how that's much different than the FOMC and him pressing the FOMC trying to uh, lower rates here in the U.S. But, you know, whatever. Um, the, the reaction to that news, European stocks are um, uh, very bullish this morning. And, of course, um, the U.S. is, is never going to... Um, um, ignore the possibility of freshly print, printed money. The markets love freshly printed, printed money. It's like an aphrodisiac for uh, the bulls. They just get all kinds of excited about um, uh, printing more debt. And so um, we're getting a big gap up this morning. Uh, Dow futures, as I speak, are up 117 points and have been staying strong uh, since that news of uh, the ECB making that cut and you can see or I should say the potential that they will make a cut so uh, diamonds as you can see moving up here this morning we're going to gap up uh, possibly right into this price resistance and who knows if we can break through that you know if we break through this level and we can prove to hold up here guys there's I think there would be we're, we're going to uh, create stimulus and cut rates and enough that we're going to break we're going to make new market highs I, I mean it just seems absolutely asinine to me that we're going to print more debt when we are pushing close to all-time highs in the market um, particularly when we don't know whether or not we're going to get some kind of a, a trade deal with China yet but that's the way we're going and it seems like the world is following in in that um so, hey, that's just my opinion, and everybody's got one, but it just seems silly to me that that's where we're going. But right now, everything just seems to be focused on making the market go higher. That's all we want to do is make the market go higher. So let's watch this resistance right here. And remember, anytime we gap up in an open, there could be um, a bearish activity up here to create that pop and drop. You know, we've seen it before. Right over here, right over here. Not a big surprise. And we've seen these pop up, gap up mornings and uh, end up selling into the day. So be careful chasing into this morning. But just realize that if uh, those bulls continue to hold on here and this consolidation would really kind of le lend me to believe that those bulls are going to 
have some support here to hold on. If they can push through this level, then hey, we're, we've opened the door to attack all time highs here in the market. Now, if those bears were to come in and push us back down, I think as long as we hold above that 50 day moving average um, in the diamonds, we're gonna be in really good shape here. Same thing is really going to be true for the SPY. Nice bullish hold above the 50-day moving average, you can see. Holding above that 50-day. Holding in there strong um, yesterday. And now gapping up this morning. Significantly gapping up this morning. Gapping up uh, potentially even above this resistance high in the chart. Or very, very close to it. So we want to watch that pretty closely. If we gap above this and actually hold above here... That could create some short squeeze activity that could push us, start pushing us higher and once again attacking all time highs here in the market. But if there is a line of defense up here, if those bears decide to really fight hard, we could certainly see another pop and drop type pattern right in here. And as long as we hold above that 50 day moving average, which is somewhere right in here, Hold above that 50-day moving average. I think we're going to be fine overall in the market. And, you know, there's also that possibility. That, why would the bears come in and attack this morning? Just basically because we're still waiting on our FOMC to make a decision um, what they're going to do. Are they going to continue to stimulate? What are they going to do here in the market? So there's that little bit of risk here in, uh, in this potential move that what if the FOMC comes out completely disappoints the market and um, we sell off so be careful how much risk you take on um, in in an environment like this because we could certainly get um, complete reversals um, on any of that news remember um, EC, um, the FOMC meeting begins today and it concludes tomorrow with the announcement and FOMC forecast um, at 1 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Excuse me, 2 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. I apologize, 2 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Let's take a look <clears throat> at the Qs. Qs getting a substantial boost this morning, really firing up hard this morning. Now, yesterday they creep, crept up and just barely held on to that 50-day moving average at the close. Now they're leaping higher this morning, Breaking above this past high, showing lots of strength, and I would suggest the next resistance level in uh, the Q's chart would be up here, so we're gapping up into this area. Can we get a whole lot of love past that and push us right up here? I think anything is possible um, in an environment like this, so uh, certainly possible. But be careful, again, what if those bears line up and defend? Um, and push us back down. And if as long as we hold above the 50-day moving average, I think we're in good shape here on the queues. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM had a nice little rally up yesterday, but faded pretty strongly at the end of the day. But now IWM popping up here, possibly gapping up above this resistance high, this little consolidation area and showing some strength along with the rest of the market. Let's also keep in mind though that IWM is still below its 200 and its 50 day moving averages and they are in decline. So it's gonna take some significant effort for IWM to push above those levels, but I'm not saying it's not possible, uh, particularly in um, a, a QE environment that we might be entering. So watch that closely here today. Once again, uh, be careful of that early morning pop. You don't wanna chase in, wait for proof that buyers step in before you jump into that game. We don't wanna catch that pop and drop pattern. Let's take a look at uh, the VIX. That VIX started to drift a little bit south yesterday, showing that some of that fear dropping out of the market here. So as that fear drops out, we could certainly see um, the, uh, the bulls maintain their control as long as that continues. We lingered around here, very oddly linger, lingered around here with almost no movement in the market. But now we're starting to see that little bit of a drift lower. And I think we should gap down or drift or see that drift continue to move lower today. Even though we're heading into that FOMC uh, meeting, 
doesn't seem to be any concern here in the market at all. Let's take a look at um, T2122. The four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see that push up yesterday moved us up here um, in, our, in our range, holding a higher low here in the market, and, but still leaving a potential upside here before we reach kind of that oversold area again. So we could see this gap up open this morning, push us right up into here. We'll have to watch that close, make sure those bears don't come in def and defend right away. And also remember, we can, it is certainly possible, we could push up into here and stay up in here for a while. And maybe that FOMC meeting will do just that, push us up here and maybe extend us out in, um, in this um in an oversold condition, excuse me, overbought condition. We'll have to wait and see, but right now, plenty of room for upside move, but also keep in mind that opens the door for plenty of room to the downside. So we have all kinds of things that could happen here. And, and T2122 is not predictive of direction. It just tells us when we've reached these extreme levels in short term. And, um, those short-term levels um, definitely you want to be paid attention to. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. If you take a look at the economic calendar, we do have some reports that could have a little bit to say how the market does finally open. And really the only one I should say is uh, the housing starts. And right now, uh, Estimates for housing starts is that they're going to remain strong. That's the, uh, the estimate. So if they remain strong, just more bullishness uh, for the market to respond to if that is the case. And uh, one of those things that just makes me think cutting interest rates when our economy is showing so much strength does not make sense to me, but doesn't have to. And they didn't call me on that. But just kind of keep in mind that um, um, we still have a strong economy. Our numbers are showing strength. Um, who knows if that would maybe bring the FOMC a little bit of pause if we can continue to see these strong economic numbers come out. If they would disappoint the market and, and, and not make a, a rate adjustment as everyone expects. Not saying that that's going to happen, just saying the possibility that exists. And so you want to consider all of these things and all of these risks um, in this market. Now with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are just awesome. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate you so much. But if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please make sure you click that subscribe button and then click that bell icon It make sure that you're going to be notified every time a video is released. And right now, uh, the Right Way Options channel, we have just about 600 videos on the channel. All of that information is free. Please feel free to also share the, that information with any friends, family, other traders that you know. You're welcome to share it on Facebook and Twitter or in any, any of those uh, social outlets. So thank you very much for those who do that. I truly appreciate it. So let's take a look um, at a few stocks that are setting up. Things that could really be um, looking pretty good and, and in this environment of um, um, easy money they could really begin to move first let's take a look at maybe um, uh, Twitter here Twitter I, I'm not a big lover of Twitter <laughs> at all um, I'm not a big trader of Twitter but what I can see in this chart is we have a trend and, and that trend um, um, has been strong here on the longer term. Now, short term, we have a short term downtrend here. But what I wanted to point out is we also have the possibility of an inverted head and shoulders pattern starting to form and Twitter holding on to this support level. If we start seeing some buyers come in here, there may be that opportunity to break that downtrend and move higher. Um, in the market and you can see Twitter is looking uh, maybe for a little gap up open this morning 
So you might want to keep an eye on that if you uh, like that stock. Also, you might want to be taking a look at some uh, stocks that are really starting to show some uh, very nice patterns uh, um, in development. One would might be Marvel. Marvel moving up, breaking through some resistance, pulling back, holding as support, now starting to consolidate. And as it consolidates over here toward the trend, we want to watch for that opportunity for that next move higher in um, in Marvel. And I want you guys to notice that this is very similar to this pattern right here. Rally above, pull back, consolidate, and then the rally begins. So you want to watch for that pattern. It's a very common pattern in the market for that potential rally. So watch that close. Microsoft is another that we should be keeping an eye on. Microsoft moved up through a breakout, um, all-time high breakout here. I think it's, well, let me revisit that. Is it an all-time high? Yes, it is. Um, blue sky high, consolidating that move up here. Now, Microsoft could have to consolidate all the way over to this bigger trend. Okay, we have a bigger trend here. But um, with the bullishness that we're seeing in the market, we could also set a new trend trajectory here if Microsoft pops out and moves. And if you take a look right now this morning, Microsoft is looking to uh, move up or open very, very close to this price alert that I have in the chart and showing some strength. So maybe keep an eye on Microsoft for that potential move higher. Might want to take a look at American Express. American Express has broken through resistance. You can see we're looking at big breakout highs here, all time blue sky highs here on this chart. American Express holding up well in this area, holding a little bit of support level in this area. All we need is those buyers to step in. This creates a pattern that I call a pop out of the box. And that's where we could actually draw a, a very concise box around price action where we're saying there's no buyers above, there's no sellers below. And as long as we continue to trend up, we would have to favor that upside move. So all we have to do is wait for those bulls to step in here and maybe pop us through that level. Now, I will say um, that any banks, any of these bank cards or anything could have a little bit of trouble in a rate cutting environment. So kind of consider that as well. This could falter um, along that rate cut um, environment. So think about that when you're watching those trades. Take a look at Pfizer. PFE yesterday has been in this, um, first it's been in this really nice trend. Um, ran up here, hit the downtrend, rallied above, held support. We got into this trade in right way options, made nice money on this move, closed that trade. But now we've pulled back here again and we're starting to show strength right off the trend. We do have to recognize the fact that there's resistance in this chart. So you're going to want to watch this closely and make that decision whether or not you, you like this trade. But Pfizer could just consider maybe even rest a little bit more going sideways here before popping up. But watch that pretty closely. There may be some opportunity here in Pfizer. A little bit different kind of a chart, Activision. Now, Activision caught some selling yesterday, and this may be a full-on failure. I don't want to suggest that this is the best chart in the world because it's not. Um, we rallied above that 50-day moving average, and we've pulled back. Now, you can see we're trying to catch a little bit of a consolidation right in this range right here. And if we could consolidate that and hold we could see um, Activision maybe popping out of that little level, um, holding above that 50-day moving average and may get some inspiration. Now, this morning, not looking like that's going to happen today. This would be a watch list. And, and, and really, by the way, everyone who watches these videos, any of these st stocks that I mention um, in these videos are not meant for a buy and sell decision uh, when I mention them. They are meant for a... Um, a, a stock for your watch list, something to evaluate, maybe a trade in the future. But the, none of the videos that, or stocks that I talk about are a recommendation to buy any kind of security. So kind of keep that in mind. How about AVP? AVP, Avon. This is a real cheapy 
type stock, only $3.85, but you can see AVP doing this nice consolidation over toward its trend. Nice little light price action. There are certainly no sellers in this price move right now, so all we need to do is wait for that break to break higher, and AVP could be one of those nice trades to move on up. TPX, TPX made that break yesterday. There's that pattern again, right? We break through resistance, we pull back, we consolidate a little bit, and then pop. And um, that's going to follow through this morning, it looks like, with a little bit higher open on uh, TPX. So doing very well here on that chart. And last but not least, I'm going to mention uh, this chart, JCI, JCI controls, JCI rallying up, hitting this resistance up here in the chart. Had an ugly, ugly bearish candle yesterday, but with the bullishness of the market, that may still hold on to this trend. So what, we, what we're doing here is we're building out a wedge pattern. And that wedge, we want to watch it pretty closely. If that price can pop through here then we have opportunity for upside we also have if we fail and rally back to resistance we have that opportunity for downside so keep an eye on jci I could go either direction right now i have to favor the upside trend here and uh, the bullishness that we're seeing in the market right now so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all the very best day futures continue to push higher we were up 117 points when we began this video and now we're up 155 points markets just want to go higher keep an eye on that existing home sales number at um at, at 7 30 um, excuse me i should say 8 30 eastern time Watch that close, but other than that, looks like we have opened the door for lots of bullish activity this morning. Everyone take care. I want to wish you all the best, and I'll talk to you bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.